Uh, hello. First, it's amazing that I even have the chance to do this. Uh, my name is Kevin Jacobs. I work for a marketing agency in Chicago called Still Croissant, and I have my own... Um, what a cool yeah. name. <laughs> and, and my own uh, personal studio called Homemade. Um, so my question is about e-commerce. All right, so I understand the new components and the, uh, I think we're calling them apps, are going to play a part in this. And I see that as kind of like user-generated ways to create enhancements to e-commerce. But I'm wondering what Webflow has in mind for the future of e-commerce. What's to take this one? I'll, I'll take a stab at that. I think for us, uh, there's two big notes. Number one, we look at memberships as the biggest e-commerce release uh, that we've ever done. Uh, memberships is actually huge, but now that we've uh, developed memberships and gotten that uh, out the door, as we know, if you open the designer yesterday, it's in public beta for everyone. I think the the team that's worked on that, that's invested deeply in that, we've set up the infrastructure, we've set up the right foundations in the data infrastructure. Of course, we set up the right foundations in our users' uh, infrastructure as well to really expand from there. So I <laughs> couldn't, couldn't agree. What's up? <laughs> Thanks, Groomer. I, I got mine. I had oh, no problems. Yours. Oh, you mine, know what? mine I could open. Yeah. If, if you try to open this and you just open it right away, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. But I couldn't agree more. I think e I, e well, he does have the super strength. <laughs> so e-commerce e is huge. I think there's a lot more to come there. Uh, Vlad, I don't know if you want to add to that. There's yeah, e-commerce for us has been um, a little tricky in the sense that you know there are major players in the space where um, there's a lot, like a pretty big gap to get to full feature functionality. But the way that we're looking at it as um, like the building blocks that we talked about in the last couple of days um, is how do we build like the right payments infrastructure to unlock more and more power through our apps marketplace, through um, other extensions? And what are the things that we absolutely have to build internally, like more payment modes, uh, internationalized, um, uh, like getting to feature parity to what Stripe and PayPal offer in terms of different payment modes, et cetera, that are really hard to build um, through, through partners and opening up as much as possible through our ecosystem to have folks uh, build the types of things that a lot of folks need that might not be you know, the, the most robust like retail commerce experience, but where payments are a key uh, differentiator for like your marketing site or uh, you know, when it's in combination with memberships, with gating, uh, creating subscription-based businesses, et cetera, we do need to build a lot more robust support for like the core foundations of commerce. Um, and, and now that we have memberships more or less out the door, we are going to be investing more in those core uh, building block foundations. But I think it will be um, a lot of partnerships with external um, companies like Monto, et cetera, to start building more and more of uh, kind of like the, the functionality that, that is needed by kind of the diverse range of retail uh, commerce experiences that you might want to build. All right, that's Thanks my time. Thanks.